Well, good morning, everybody. This morning, the kitties are having some of this um, banana cake and Greek yogurt with raspberries for breakfast this morning. This is a Trim Happy Mama recipe, so it's actually sugar-free, which um, is really quite tasty, and I'll actually be having this for breakfast as well when we get home from dropping Aubrey off and we woke up to snow um, I don't know if you can tell it's pretty fine falling but um, we are in for about 10 centimeters of snow today we're actually under a bit of a snow alert so yay for that so in Aubrey's lunch she has her water bottle some veggie crackers a chocolate milk an apple some Cheerios. She saw these little containers in the, um, what do you call it, pantry, and she wanted one, um, and she couldn't really see what was inside, so she's excited to open it and have a surprise at her lunch, um, and then some ham, and then her little ice pack, and that is what is in her lunch today. So this is the view out my front window. Oh, lovely snow. So we are going to fly and get ready. Um, I like to leave a little bit earlier when it's snowy. I mean, this isn't really anything, but um, Shane had called to say that the roads are a little bit slick. So um, we are going to get out of here quickly. So I just got done doing my makeup. Colt went down for his nap early. He actually was um, feeling, looking really tired around 10. Uh, usually he's anywhere from 10, 30 to 11. Um, he's ready for his nap but he was kind of like laying his head down and stuff so thank goodness he went down early because I actually have to wake him up early to get to his speech appointment so I am going to go ahead and get mired and uh, get ready to go we have to leave in about an hour and 15 minutes or so it is snowing like crazy out we're actually in a um, winter storm warning watch thing I don't know it's snowing like crazy and on our way to Aubrey school there was an accident um so yes so I'm glad Shane's gonna be coming home oh, hello lighting <laughs> um Shane's gonna be coming home from his course early to go with us and Aubrey's grandpa's gonna pick her up from school so um we don't have to worry about that but I need to get my hair done so I can be ready to go to get Cole up, have lunch, and we can get out the door.
so it's exactly 12 o'clock. I'm going to go get Colt up. Actually, first I think I'm going to get his lunch ready so he can sleep as long as possible. And then I'm going to make his lunch and my lunch, and then we are going to get ready to go. So this is what it looks like outside right now. Um, it's <laughs> snowed quite a bit since this morning. Yay. Psych. I also had a Scentsy order come today, which I'm so excited about. I wasn't... I didn't think it was coming. I had checked the tracking the other day and it hadn't shipped yet, so I was pretty excited to see that it showed up. I have some really happy customers, and I'm excited to get into these boxes because I ordered a bunch of things too. This is my first order from our new catalog, so I'm excited to go through it. Um, once I do, I'll show you what I picked up for myself. So I guess I should probably even explain what we're doing today as far as this speech appointment is concerned. So when Colt went for his, I think it was 18 month, um, well baby visit, they asked us um, if he knew five words and it was a real struggle for us to come up with five. He knew like dada, uh oh, mama, and peppa. And apart from that, we could not come up with really any other words. And so that was the first time that I sort of thought, is he, like, is he on track here? Um, and then just through a series of watching friends, children who are Colt's age, um, I've got a lot of friends who have kids that are his age or younger. Um, so when he was 18 months old, or 24 months old, so when he turned two, I had a few friends whose children were like around 18 months old and in between there. And I was watching their updates like on Facebook and some of the things that their kids were doing and Colt was not doing them as far as speaking was concerned. And I know that we don't want to get into that rut of comparing our children with other children. I know that. But I think part of that as a mom, it's just a natural thing where you think, is my child on target? I'm making my uh, my lunch here, so sorry. Um, and then, just being in the YouTube community and watching other moms with kids that I know are around Colt's age and seeing where they were at as far as their speaking was concerned and seeing that he wasn't there even remotely, it gave me um, a bit of a cause for concern. And I remember posting on Facebook an update and it was I had had a really rough day and I said but the good thing is at least Colt has been calling me mama all day that's something that he never does and I had two people message me and say is he a part of this particular speech program and it was something that I wasn't at all familiar with um, having not grown up in Canada or Ontario even um, there were, you know, there's just programs and different things that I'm completely unaware of that, you know, maybe are, are commonplace here that other moms might know. I didn't. So anyways, a friend of mine started uh, telling me about this um, speech program and about how wonderful it is. And I looked it up and it's, um, it's free. It was free. Uh, and they do like an assessment on your child. And so when I called, I called about a month ago and they asked how many words Colt knew and I had been keeping track on my phone like that's kind of the point that we were at is that I was keeping track of how many words that he was saying on a consistent basis um, not even just so much oh he said it one time but the words that he was you know really using in his vocabulary and um, at that point it was like 10 and he was, uh, well, he was 25, 26 months, so a little over um, two years. Hold on one second. Okay, so anyways, we booked this speech appointment for him, and um, I started to keep track more of the words that he was saying, and then all of a sudden, like two weeks ago, he started saying a ton of words, and he was repeating things. Um, and just even on Monday, he started to say Aubrey. Um, so we had some evaluation forms to fill out about, um, you know, different, uh, just things that he was comfortable doing, not comfortable doing, um, and when I first got the forms, I'm glad I didn't fill them out at that point, 
because I think I would have been far more concerned about where he was. Um, just things like um, his interaction with adults he doesn't know. Um, interacting with kids he doesn't know. Um, he... When, when I take him to the church nursery, um, the main nursery worker told me that he liked to stay back by himself and he liked to just observe the other kids. He didn't um, necessarily like to get into group activities. He would sit on the sidelines and watch. And so those were just some of the things that uh, this questionnaire was looking into and wanting to kind of just go into a little bit further. So anyways, I think he's come a long way since even that uh, month ago. So, and he, I, I have a feeling that we're going to go and we're going to find out that he's on track for where he needs to be. Um, maybe just a little bit slower at speaking and compared to other kids. I don't even know. I'm not really all that worried and I guess probably my big thing is that we'll probably end up getting there and it's going to be, they'll look at me and think, lady, why did you even call us? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just all that mom nervousness. I know he's probably right, okay, for where his age is and maybe he is just a little bit um, slower and whatever. I don't know. But they might give us also some resources to help work with him on things. Like, I've been trying to teach him like where his um, ears are and his nose and stuff like that. And he's able to tell where mommy's nose is, but that's about it. And he's not, um, he doesn't know any of his colors. Like I'm trying to teach him green um, and he's not picking it up. <laughs> so anyways, I'm hoping that they'll just be able to maybe give us some resources about how we can help him a little bit better. And um, sure everything will be fine and I'll just look like one big weirdo. So here is a quick outfit shot. I've got my watch and a bracelet and I've got a necklace on too. No, um, no earrings. I don't have time. I gotta put my wedding ring on still but that is what I'm wearing. You're welcome. Fourth floor. <gasps> oh, oh, what's happening? Well, hi guys. Um, it is now, I think around 10 p.m. I am sitting in bed. I'm getting ready to edit a video I haven't yet uploaded for today. Um, it's been a really full and busy day. I haven't been home much today, so I haven't had a chance to actually pretty much do anything. My house looks like a disaster, um, but that's okay. It was a good day full of a lot of good things. So when I last left you, I was... Um, getting ready to go to my son's speech assessment appointment. So I kind of shared with you some of my thoughts before we went to the appointment and why we were even doing it in the first place. And um, it turns out that he does have a bit of a mild difficulty with his vocabulary. He's about 50% where he should be at his age. So they gave us some strategies to work with him and some techniques on... Um, how to help him better uh, advance his vocabulary. So where he should know between 50 and 100 words, he is about half of that. So um, I felt really empowered and really equipped walking away from this appointment. They were absolutely wonderful. Um, 
can't say enough good things about it. And so tomorrow night, I'm actually going to go to a parent meeting. Um, they do these meetings like uh, once a month, and turns out tomorrow is actually one of their meetings, and it's a two-hour appointment, um, and we'll meet with like probably, she thought, maybe like five other families, and they'll go um, further in depth on some tips and tools to help uh, bring out our child children's speech better so I'm excited about that and I feel validated in my mothering that I knew that there was some not something right with my son um, you know and it's mild compared to what some other kids um, struggle with so um, we're blessed in that regard but I, I knew that there was there wasn't something right and I'm thankful to know that um, that he has sort of started exploding in his speech the past couple weeks, so it was um, really encouraging. So anyways, that is kind of the update there. We had a really great night with our friends. We went over for pizza. Um, their kids are uh, just right around our kids' age. Um, their son's 18 months, and their daughter, I think she's um, three and a half, I think. But uh, it was it was wonderful. We had a really great time. Um, so I'm looking forward to watching that friendship grow and to get to know them better and uh, for, you know, just friends. Friends are good, right? <laughs> I'm excited. So anyways, I am going to edit my video. Um, I never kind of sit in my room and do anything really except do my hair and makeup and sleep. So it's kind of fun to be in here and do something different. So I'm going to get that done and hopefully get a video uploaded loaded before I go to bed. Hope you guys have a really great day and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope whatever you are doing at this very moment, you are feeling happy, fulfilled, excited, and just wonderful. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.